<laughs> where, where are we? Where, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? All right, Betty, I mean, so you got a lot of work to do. Ari did get buffed on 14 2. She yep. had her E cooldown reduced because it's, it's way quite early on. It's not that strong, but here comes Peach. We talked about his aggression. What can he do? Caps has got back up, though. All you need to see is Yike flee on in, and rather, the fear is there. Out of Ooh. range from the spear. Yike's taking the damage. Caps can't help out much yet to save his mid laner. It cost G2 their first blood. Fumbles sometimes their objective setup isn't the the strongest and sometimes they take fights that aren't really optimal for them and and that's where teams have found windows to punish Hot them armor yeah you know we'll pass on that one for now we'll just <laughs> give over the dragon overall a fair trade grub secured consistency that they've shown throughout the split and i'm curious as to what we're going to see this time around now i'm expecting a fight here Ooh, me too mickey jumps on in for it this is the charm or at least the ultimate popped out by jackie's mickey's dead in his and ignar picks it up and Jackie's going to be pulled back in, but Yike doesn't have the damage follow-up. Caps has no mana. Sir, leave immediately. Yike has his flash, but doesn't want to pop it over the wall. Jackie's picks up another kill. Start. Have nearly 1.5k gold lead. Patrick's suffering a little bit here, but he's doing all right. What happens to G2's bottom lane? Uh -oh. No, Ignar's been found out without a person. That cat needs a friend, but won't find one. Caps picks up the kill. Ignar brushed that off the shoulder. Very well played. Jackie's in a bit of danger here. Walty dodged away from. Saved for another day. Jackie oh. gets a charm in return. All the deception kill. comes through. Ooh. And he dodges oh. away from Caps once again. Mid gets exciting as Severing Bolt also knuckled down. G2 going to continue with the top side grubs in the meantime as Peach moves up. Flashes oh. for Caps. But the angle's not right. Caps gets away with it without burning his old summoner as G2. The rest of them now have to find an escape route. It's a remount for Yike looking for the one HP grub. No one touches it. G2 gets six at the cost of Yike's life. Ooh. They're setting themselves up nicely for the mid game. Not again. Not again. You're joking. Not again. In the meantime, Ignar is caught without a friend. The Yumi has popped the heal. I don't even think you would have done that. Caps gets another kill. Ocean Soul this time as well. well I'm impressed that you're keeping track of all those dragons. You also did just say that. There we go. Peach has been clicking. He knows exactly what to do. And that'll open up mid, going the right way that Giant X want to. As well, now it's G2 that have to claw back that control. But there's a lot of deep wards on the side of G2 that they could yep. use for a potential TP flank. But Giant X go in. Engages there. It's Peach's damage that follows up with Patrick. The last chapter as well. Mickey jumps in, though. His Bramble Smash doing a bit of work. But Mickey's just zoned out. Patrick takes oh. him. The last breath. Does it bring it back? Well, Broken Blade seems to think so. He's picked up a double while Otto is zoned off because his team just got exploded. Broken Blade back here again onto the enemy top lane and finding a third kill. This Lead up the fight. Now you're going to start to see the scaling threats that is this G2 composition. TP coming in from Giant X. Patrick trying to steal. It is secured though. Hard against the rail at the very least. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Definitely Piosic. Uh, G2. They're the ones waiting up this top side because it's Giant X making the play, but they're holding it on Tara. The spiraling despair starts it off. Odo is just punished against the wall. Caps picks up the kill. Look at the damage from play already. There's a charm trying to get Yike because G2 are on the chase. And they've got the health to do it. Nature's Grass flies through. It lands on two. Peach is isolated. Has Ignar, but Mickey's the one who can tank up the damage. Jackie's runs in with a Spirit Rush, but Han Sama kites away, heals up as well. We aren't going to get the claw from Caps as they get poked out, but G2 are looking again. The dance continues back and forth. Broken Blade continues to push on lane. Mickey may have overstepped his bounds. As he indeed. Well, there's a teleport coming through to save Mickey's life. He flashes away. It's Rel again setting up, but Broken Blade isn't there until he is. Han Summer gets a kill. Jackie runs away. Peach is sniped out from downtown. A severing bolt, severing lifeline. Severs the game one, it feels like at this point, with how they're running away. Jackie's narrowly escaping the shattering strike. Well, but before Broken Blade wasn't even in the fight and they yeah. were still getting bullied away. It's so rough, wasn't it? Broken Blade again setting up. That old not coming through. Does he need to though? Peach is stuck in the middle. Another kill over to Huzza Key. Oh, you do actually. He's able to get in the house. Jackie's is going to spirit rush away though. Now you're stuck in a five versus four. And Dragon is up sitting, staring them in the face. And Giant X are like, what, what can we do? We've just lost our jungler. I mean, not a lot is the truth. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Glad you're being honest. They have their eyes focused on the Jump. mid lane. God, that separate bolt at this point. They're chasing the movement speed. Ulti comes through, Jackie sidestep, bolt again. <laughs> <laughs> the cooldown ain't too much. What can you do? What he has the flash. What can you do? Oh, Patrick's dead now as well. It's gone from okay to bad to worse for Giant X. 
every fight now is looking more dominating than the last. There's a Yasuo who's 5-0 and one is 3,000 gold over Odo. A frustrating oh, game no. for Giant X. Save him. Oh, so, what? What? <laughs> what? The damage is crazy. <laughs> I did not expect that. He's got Horizon Focus. That's probably yeah. something to do with it. Oh, it is. That's, That's why he does point. so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, looks good as Yike, maybe not. Hexplash gonna be interrupted. They've found the G2 jungler without a horse. It's not amazing. Jackie's able to pick up a kill. Three, two, and two. Okay, it's a good pick for Giant X. Remembering that Baron is not available. G2 took it before, so that objective not being on the board means that maybe G2 is safe with that small mistake. Definitely will buy a bit of time. Well indeed. Giant X, but the problem is G2 have a wave top side. They're immediately gonna move to it, unlock this tower. The Giant X would love to try and force something, knowing that they have a numbers advantage. I'd be scared though. Peach, as he runs in, I would still be scared. It's isolated from his team. It's a Yasuo, he's gonna sit in the bubble. Hunt Summer repositions. Mickey now out of position. Senna's fake does not help the, the position at all. Broken Blade getting zoned out. He might die as well. Okay, hold the phone. It's G2 things, but it's happening in the mid game, not the early game this time around. Han Summer nukes Jackies though. <laughs> What are we watching? Severing Bolt comes through. Somehow Jackie's what? died, and now Patrick runs in. Cap's getting zoned out. He flashes away. What Yikes is back. this? Yes, Yike indeed is back. Patrick here. He flashes over. Shattering Strike. He gets out with an arcade gym. Oh, the one they're joining in. All right, new challenger. Who's up next? Caps gets the kill. G2. It's a big if right now as Dragon Spawn staring in front of them. They want a third ocean. And Giant X are trying to pop their little head in. We're waiting for the engage. Meganar's there. Mickey's like, okay, nature's grass. Let's go on the Meganar. Will he be able to get his perfect ult? Not at all. Broken Blade with one mana, though. In the meantime, Caps ran up his way. Ain't none of that way. As Peach has to ulti out, but Flash as well. As Broken Blade matches him. A double over to Han Sama. It looks so janky, but G2 just have so much power. It, the comps are just... One is just so much stronger than the other at this point in the game. We scaled. Giant X are doing what's back, moving into game two. But uh, yeah, I think that uh, they were not expecting this level of scaling and also flexibility in the draft. So many questions. Oh, Patrick, the prediction he gets hit. spiraling to spare prediction. The bolt isn't there, but caps. He pressed R. There's a lot of damage. Passive goes off. Level 18 play, ladies and gentlemen, with three items. And an X on your hourglass, or at least soon to be, I should say. Top turret's gonna go down on top of that. With Baron in their pocket. You say yike, I say yes. Shattering strike, his engage is great on the rel, as we know and love. Broken Blade has now made himself in with the teleport as well, the flip back, and another one bites at us. Peach can't get in at in this game. We were hyping this up, especially early on, but at 31 minutes, it is now as one side as one side it gets as Broken Blade runs in under turret. Is he gonna oh. die? No, he doesn't. He heals up with the Immortal Shield Bow. The and they're going to have another crack. Mickey as well, just barely keeping him alive. The Severing bolt, bolt is dead. enough. <laughs> oh, my Lord. 10-0 and 8. I don't know what happens draft for game two, but I know that G2 have put them through a whirlwind as they open up their playoff here in winter with a very devastating game. You can take that as you will. Here from Jackie, that would be... Oh, Silas. Okay, wow. Well, they can definitely spice up the comp as well. I'm not sure how Silas is going to fight this game. I feel like he has a lot of people hitting him and a lot of tanks to get through. So I personally would rather play the Odo G. at least gets some back, but Odo having some good trades, as you kind of expected. There's some danger in this early lane. As every time BB also goes for the Bloblets, he's punished, but he flashes, gets that slingshot in, and it's match. Odo gets flashed on first by the broken You really forgot the name of it a couple <laughs> seconds ago. Let's bounce. There we yeah. go. So he's just going to call it Flubber Dub Dub? Yeah, in the tub. I remember that. I don't remember where it's from, but I remember it. Yeah, it <laughs> Isn't it scrub a dub dub in the tub? Oh, it's probably <laughs> is. <laughs> Maybe the former it shouldn't be said at all. Uh, I think you're confusing that saying and then flubber the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I just that's just Zach's nickname, isn't it? Uh, anyway, trying to go down. So the very the big flip over came through when Yike got a great engage. Broken blade on his Yasuo as well. 
I think Ignar, you know, he's great on these engaged tools. Not the same as there we go, Flubber Dub Dub. It's fun in the tub, but Oduamne, as he goes into the ascended form as well, as big as Caps, ulties out. Jackie steals one into the tower, but he's so low, gets flashed on, and it's collapsing. He said, you know, a bit of a spoiler. Uh, there was BDS earlier in the day. He didn't say who won, by the way. Is Mickey X going to go for the engage? Pause the train of thought. The ulti in the back line on a Patrick. Yikes, target selection was absolutely magnificent. Mickey's still alive with the Bramble Smash. It slows down. Peach, he goes to the engage. He just wants a kill out of this. But as Peach gets demounted by Igna, his support doesn't trust him. It's a gleaming quill that gets a kill for Igna. You know, as you mentioned, so rightly so, Caps' ulti could be big if he comes on in. But Yike comes through. Smite for me. Make sure that it's not going to be six, no matter what. Now fifth still on the table. As G2 control mid, Jackie's gets even lower. Patrick Arcane shifts in to try and get some range to help clear this mini wave. But Caps picks up a turret. The thing about Zach Top, if you let him pick up those passives, that dude gets back up to full. War of Attrition, he definitely wins out. Mickey, though, very low. Ulti. But saved by Hansama. There's a nature's grasp. Peach can't finish the kill. Yike again gets into the back line. Patrick is isolated. This Yumi on top of the jungler. Abandoned ship. 07. Igna. Oh, you know what? G2, they were always dog people anyway. No room for cats on the rift. The audience have never cheered louder for the death of an animal. As severe as it is to say, ult for ult, okay. Oh. We divide and glide, but Caps can get back in. Jackies. One versus one, Jackie's gonna try and get it. He flashes on Caps, but Caps gets over the wall, but matches it. Jackie's gets a shutdown. That's gotta feel good after the lane Kingdom prowess. That's been in your face. Props to Jackie's getting a solo kill onto Caps. Do Much needed for confidence. But now the top lane is a dueling one. Smoke, oh, 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 he's, he's gone. Wait, is there a TP from Caps? There isn't, I think he's got this kill. He does indeed. Odo, Do wait, wait. He's taking a while to die. Wait a minute. Wait, wait no way. Minute. Oh. No way after Cell Division. Broken Blade stands strong. A minion wave's coming in. Odo flashes away, but he's brought back in. <laughs> BB's going to get his health back. He's got a slingshot about to come up. Now, Yikes here. Teleport in response. We're turning this into a big old fight. As Igna needs someone to mount, but Yikes is isolated. He still finds a kill onto Odo. He's kiting out as Jackie's can't find the target. Peach is in here. Mickey's in here. We're getting the full on Bonanza. <laughs> In goes Peach, but he's rooted on back because guess what? Broken Blade back up the full health. The Zag top. BB does it just like Zayas. We continue carrying the rest of the fight alongside Yike, as you mentioned. Man, I thought it was such a good top lane. He found multiple gang spot lane. Yep. He then found another set of gangs top side. Jackie's now in a lot of danger. Mickey's the one finding this game. Caps ults him backwards. Jackie's nowhere to run. He's on the wrong side of the map. Caps has been winning the lane. I think it's about time that they win the game as Yike runs in again on top of Peach. He's got that guard up, but it won't matter when four members sit inside. And then to add insult to injury, Yike makes his way bots, and he finds a huge advantage there. You look at the bottom of oh, your screen. Game going in favor of G2. On this patch, uh, there are some weird... Yeah, apart from 2020, so... That's a running joke. They make worlds every five years, so it's very easy to track <laughs> when they were there. This one, this at least Harold comes in for the joy ride, but still you establish your dominance through the map. Another turret goes down, make that number five. And Giant X is just looking for a piece of the puzzle. What can we do? Broken Blade says nothing, runs into the backside. It's another kiss. Jackie sends out the ulti, but it matters not as he steals an Azir shuffle. He might have to steal more than that. The hearts of any fans watching from Giant X to give forgiveness here to look for some optimism, it ain't there. G2 have sapped the life out of them. I mean, it's nothing but a slaughter. We're not even 20 minutes in and they're tearing Giant X's base apart. Are they gonna try and end right now? 30 seconds on Jackie's. Can they? Perhaps they'll just take the inhibitor, go back to base, Baron is alive. Or maybe they wanna end it right now. Do it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen here? Dodo's gonna get drawn back. He's not being able to move, he flashes out. Been able to do much. Inhibitor goes down as well. G2's taking the safe path as Peach. Smooth sailing. Broken Blade now even hitting up, and that counts. He can slingshot back on in. Let's bounce. Popped on up. Odo looks for caps, but even the range from caps right now with two and a bit items hurts a lot. Broken Blade, his slingshot goes for days. Odo gets the Giant X. Broken Blade's threatening the slingshot. Won't Jackie. use it. Marco ultimate thrown out. Mickey's going to tank that one up. They don't have enough damage with his life. for Mickey at this point. Just with Trailblazer, his ult in return is going to hurt a lot. Three people locked up. The Empress Divide is a good glide. And Peach 
Now means with the enemies in the middle. Ignar on top. Just turn away, ladies and gentlemen, if you hate MA-rated movies. <laughs> this one's going to sting as G2 run it forward. It's the start of their playoffs, and it certainly won't be the end as Jackie's his last remnant. 20 to 2. That's the kill score at 22 and a half minutes. This was a statement game. Look out, LEC. It's G2 as always, and they're coming for you next. I mean, what I will say is that while he's not on the board, credit to Han Sama. I think that when we look at G2's whole split, he has been a weak point for the team. I think that yep. his performance has not been as consistent. Um, but they, he's found a champion that he looks very comfortable on. He's had both great laning phases, and I think that he's looking very comfortable. We'll see how that champion pool continues to develop. But G2 are finding flex picks, man, and it's getting very difficult <laughs> for teams to deal with. But in this matter, it's exciting to watch at the very least. However, that's enough from us. We're going to throw it to an interview on stage. See what's up. Thank you so much. Welcome. We have Mickey X ready for the interview. Congratulations on yep. your win. I want to start off with the drafts, particularly, because who's cooking and how are you guys cooking these up? Zach Top, Mao Kai Sena bot lane. What's, what's going on? Yeah, well, the new patch kind of opened up a lot of new possibilities. And yeah, now we just have to wait what other teams are cooking up as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, just. Also, these champions are very fun to play. Yeah. Uh, like, playing Maokai is like one of the most fun champions I've ever played. I don't know how Yike managed to lose with this champion or why he's complaining. But yeah, it was nice to play something broken for once. All right, maybe a support role. It's more fun to play than in maybe, jungle. Yeah. Could be the case, I'm just right? running around with like yeah. 1,000 movement speed and I'm just like sapling bushes. It's like Is so that fun. why you picked it? Just for fun? Yeah. You, not because <laughs> like super OK? No, no. I so wanted to prove to Yike that it's like so easy to win with this champion, so. Well, point proven. Congrats yeah. on that. Looking, though, at the Maokai Senna bot lane that we're seeing, as a bot laner yourself, do you think this is probably one of the strongest ones we could be looking at right now? Do you, how does it feel to, when you enter a draft, usually the first few champions that are burned out is going to be Ash, probably a Varus thrown in the mix. It's always the AD carries supports as well that are targeted. How does that feel as a bot laner? Yeah, well, I guess with Hans as well, it's more often that AD carries get bent. Yeah. This time, I guess Draven was open, but... We kind of felt like Senna would be better into the Ezreal because they just blind picked Ezreal 1 2 both games. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure how strong that is. In the Heretics game, it didn't look that strong either in the mid lane. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe that was a bit of a blunder on their part. I want to talk about that one. <laughs> I want to talk about that one because I think something that we've hit on time and time again is potentially the early game from the side of G2. It also feels like the bot lane hasn't really been as strong as we are used to seeing. So what is the process behind the scenes that you guys are working on? Because you all keep mentioning that we're going to be focusing on the early game. We're going to be focusing on the bot lane. So what do you think is currently potentially a barrier from actually getting back? You know, Because it feels like you guys traded early game for mid game, which is it's working perfectly okay. fine. But how can you get both? Mm, I think a lot of our games in early game, we just did a few unlucky misplays. And I think our plans have been pretty solid overall. Mm -hmm. So I think just like the execution part that is like lacking a bit, but I think that just happens sometimes in the game. But then when it comes to mid game, I feel like our games are way easier to play or just cleaner. So yeah, yeah I think we're on a pretty good path right now. And also looking at bo 3s you guys have been doing well. Like the path to getting here has been great. A little hiccups here and there. Uh, the Seraphine Senna bot lane that we've seen. We're now yeah, the Sona Seraphine volley that we've seen. That was a, that was an interesting one. But also some advice potentially for people who see these picks watching at home and they're like, "Yo, I can like lock that into solo queue." Would you would you advise against it? Like anything you want to say? Depends if you want to win or not. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if they want to win, sure. Or if you want to have fun. Okay. Sona Seraphine is not fun, so don't do that. Yumi as well, didn't look the most fun either. Not a Yumi fan? No. No? Too boring. Uh, but Maokai, oh. you can lock in, you're going to have fun, and you're going to win. All right. So nice. And from the upcoming series, who do you want to go up against the most? Mm. Or for anyone in this pool right now, who do you think, like, that is the team that I want to play and want to prove myself against? Well, I guess BDS, since they're the other top team besides us, I want to play them and prove that they're not that top of a team. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. We have the PGL ready with Lore as well as Broken Blade. It is in the fan area, so if you guys can all just get up and join them, that's where the action is at. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And Lore, I'm gonna throw it back to you, lovely. Bye. Yay, thank you so much, Jenny. <laughs> Position they have at the right moment, honestly, but it's, yeah, and, and then it was just the caps show.
uh, yeah, this was hard to come back here. Absolutely crazy. Just capped things, I guess, really. We, we're going to talk about Huey and Caps and whatever he did this game. But first things first, I want to give props to GX for the way they've been proactive in the early game because we set the stage for G2's mid jungle being the center point of their lineup and basically where we should keep our eyes on. But Peach and Jackie is in this game. Honestly, great job. Yeah, I mean, Peach and Jack is from the early game. The the first skirmish that we see here on the screen, and then there was one more in the bot side where they also picked up a couple kills. Really clean from them. I think they had a very clear objective. They win the 2v2 in mid and early game. Way in early game, not the greatest champ. Obviously, in late game, a lot of damage, but they made use of their champs super well in the early game and found a quite, a, quite a sizable lead on G2. And we kind of criticized G2's early game before. The next, they took advantage. Yeah, and I, I want to say, in 2024, G2 is the story of dropping the early game and coming back in clutch ways, usually in the mid game. And Broxa, that's what they did here again. And I feel like Broken Blade was the main character of this fight. Yeah, I think really there's, there's so much to dive into, but more than anything, it's just a typical G2 game. <laughs> like they fall behind, the enemy team is too bad to close it out. And I think the fundamentals that Giant X had in the middle late game just weren't, weren't what, good enough. Yeah, but what did it take for them to come back? What did they set up for their fight streets? I mean, I think this TP, especially here with Broken Blade coming in and Yikes saving a CC, uh, Broken Blade also calling in the other fight to kind of save CC for him was really clean. Uh, this was kind of the big comeback fight and Caps had a few kills before this as well. And then he obviously kind of was stacking up throughout the game and getting more and more items and eventually had the Rabalons as well. And I think, yeah, this fight was just kind of the classic G2 mid game fight where everything just goes well. Uh, and then this one obviously as well, where they were kind of stalling uh, a 4v4 here with BB then TPing in as well. They didn't quite land the same CC combo, but it was really clean anyways. The spacing on this fight, beautiful. It was beautiful, yeah. It feels like Giant X is so lost with Igna playing Yumi. Like, it, it just feels wrong. It reminds <laughs> me of playing Garen Yumi on Fnatic back in the days. And I'm like, why is really saying playing Yumi? Like, we need this guy to engage and playmake and, and do his thing. And really, they were so lost in the later stages because Igna usually is the one to set up many of these fights. And now, they couldn't really do anything, and uh, I think that's a bit of a, a blunder. That is not what you want to see indeed, and I feel like it was hard for GX to come back in any way uh, during, this, uh, during this game. And also, something we've talked about is how, how good Caps is when he's feeling himself. <laughs> and I feel like that was the case here today and earlier this week. We've talked with Mickey actually, about Caps and his mentality, so let's check it out right now. is just like much better than everyone else because I think he's just way smarter and he just like really likes the game so the only thing he thinks about is League of Legends so he finds strategies or like strats like way earlier than other people he tries a lot of stuff he's like open-minded so he plays a lot of champs so he's also has a big champion pool I think like the only downside of Caps is that sometimes he trolls too much because he gets bored so like for example he just I remember in 2020 I think or 19 he decided one week he's gonna play only assassins so he wanted to play only LeBlanc, Akali, and then both of them got banned. So then he had to play Talon first time on stage. <laughs> so that's like one of Caps' weakness. But he still made it work. We won because he can just kind of like pull out whatever, and he's good. And he's just he is very clutch in very good situations. Goes over the wall. Just wants to try to take human right out. Q dashes in again.